From the news center of the Arklamis, this is TV8 News Overnight. Around the clock news from your 24-hour news source. Louisiana's Democratic Senators Jay Bennett Johnston and John Bro seem to be losing their popularity among Bayou State voters. An exclusive TV8 News Star survey showed Bro fares slightly higher than Johnston on their job performances. 49% of the voters polled say Bro is doing an excellent or good job. However, that figure is down 57% from last September. 16% say Bro is doing a poor job the highest poor rating he's received during the Mason-Dixon poll over the past few years. According to those same voters, Johnston is doing only a fair job. 34% of those polled agreed. Johnston's poor rating is also higher than Bro's at 20%, up from 13% last September. The decline in job ratings for the two senators appears to be linked to their budget votes. Bro led the opposition to President Clinton's proposed BTU tax and as an alternative, he offered some spending cuts and a 4.3 cents per gallon transportation fuels tax. Bro later voted in favor of Clinton's budget plan once the BTU tax was removed and the fuel tax substituted. Voters disapproved of this action 48 percent. Johnston's vote was more acceptable. 41 to 42 percent approve of Johnston's vote of first keeping the fuels tax in the proposed budget, then voting against the final plan that included the tax. Louisiana voters overwhelmingly oppose the president's BTU proposal, which calls for tax fuels such as electricity, gasoline, and heating oil. Only 20% of voters agree with the plan, although the U.S. House of Representatives has approved the proposal. Voters also seem disinterested in an alternative plan as well. 39% say they are for a fuels tax to stimulate the economy and reduce the federal deficit, while 48% are against it. So why are voters against President Clinton's proposed tax increases? The majority of Louisianians, 56%, say Clinton's proposals aren't really aimed at reducing the deficit, but being used as a smokescreen for raising revenue for new programs. 29% say the proposals are designed to reduce the deficit by making the rich pay their fair share. And although more than half of those surveyed don't agree with the president's tax proposals, 52% they have the answer to reduce the federal deficit through spending cuts alone. On the other hand, 36% say spending cuts along with some tax increases could solve the problem. Sandra Samuel, TV8 News. This is CBS.